The smartphone camera game is improving at a very high pace and is getting closer to DSLR level year after year. But eventually the number of cameras in a smartphone has grown as well. And at this point we have most of the smartphones with at least 3 or 4 rare cameras. So the question is why the smartphones have these many cameras? See, in case of a DSLR, it has a sensor inside the camera body and different lenses are attached for different kinds of shots. An ultra-wide lens is used to cover a larger field of view, a macro lens for smaller subjects and so on. But in case of a smartphone, aka mobile phones, the users can't really carry around different lenses or the point of being mobile will be invalid. And detachable parts like lenses will be a setback on the idea of being robust or being water or dust resistant. So the smartphone manufacturers started adding individual cameras for each lens. Like a high resolution primary camera, an ultra wide camera for a larger field of view, a telephoto camera for higher zoom, a macro camera for tiny subjects and a depth sensor for better portrait with background blur. Now the flagships like iPhones have a combination of wide, ultra wide and a telephoto camera and the known flagships come with a wide, ultra wide, a depth sensor and macro camera. So in order to provide users with the ability to click different kinds of photos, smartphones are provided with four cameras. But then arises another question, do we actually need these many cameras? See, the human brain has a tendency to attach higher numbers with higher quality. So the smartphone manufacturers add more number of cameras to trick you into thinking it is a better device. Or in other words, our brain associates higher number of cameras to a better camera quality. Now this is true for flagships like iPhone 11 or 12 Pro series of smartphones which have 3 rare cameras, a 12 megapixel wide, a 12 megapixel ultra wide and 12 megapixel telephoto camera. But this is not the case for non-flagship smartphones. These smartphones come with higher resolution primary camera, an OK ultra wide camera and then they have a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 5 or 2 megapixel macro camera. Now how would you justify using a 2 megapixel camera in the year 2020? Even in many smartphones it was found that taking a picture on the main camera and then cropping in gives you a better results than using a macro camera. So from this we can conclude that a high resolution primary camera and an ultra wide is actually enough for our day to day usage or as MKBHD says one good camera is way better than 4 OK cameras. A good example to this is the Google Pixel line of smartphones which uses a single camera and still manages to beat quad camera devices in terms of camera performance. So the next time you buy a smartphone make sure that you check the camera quality instead of falling for higher number of cameras. With that being said give this video a like and for more such short videos subscribe to Tech Cluster and I will see you in the next one.